Imagine a stealth jet so advanced it vanishes from radar, but one nation went further. They rewrote its brain, reprogrammed its systems, and turned it into a weapon no one else can fly. This is how Israel modified the F-35 and made it their own digital masterpiece. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating defense stories of our time, how Israel took the F-35 Lightning Tia, the most advanced stealth fighter ever built, and transformed it into something even more extraordinary. This isn't just a story about airplanes, it's about code, innovation, and independence. Israel didn't simply purchase the F-35. They earned special permission to rework its internal systems, something no other country has done to this extent. Through layers of custom software and integrated local technologies, they turned the jet into the F-35 Adir, meaning Mighty One. Over the next few minutes, we'll explore what changed, why it matters, and how this version became one of the most lethal platforms in the sky. Buckle up because this story combines technology, geopolitics, and the relentless pursuit of an edge. Let's begin with the foundation software architecture. The F-35's brain, its mission computer, controls everything from sensors to weapons to flight data. Normally, this system is locked down under U.S. control, but Israel managed to negotiate an exception. Their engineers built a modular layer that sits on top of the existing system, allowing them to plug in their own software without disturbing the core American code. This means Israeli developers can design and install custom features, update mission data, and even integrate new equipment on their own timeline. In warfare, that flexibility is priceless. Instead of waiting months for foreign updates, the Israeli Air Force can deploy a new capability overnight. Think of it like having a smartphone with an open app store while everyone else waits for the manufacturer's updates. Israel codes its own apps. This independence lets them innovate faster, adapt quicker, and stay ahead in a rapidly evolving battlefield dominated by technology. Now, let's talk about electronic warfare, the invisible shield that protects and empowers the F-3 FFUI. Israel has decades of experience in electronic warfare, and they've poured that expertise into their variant. They replaced or enhanced parts of the standard system with their own electronic intelligence and jamming suites built specifically for the regional threats they face. In practice, this means the F-355I can detect, deceive, and counter radar systems from far greater distances. Instead of relying only on stealth, it actively manipulates enemy signals, confusing and overwhelming air defense networks. These modifications are not just hardware tweaks, their deep software upgrades, rewriting how the aircraft interprets and responds to electromagnetic activity. Each new signal the plane encounters becomes part of a growing intelligence database, constantly updated and shared across Israel's air network. In a region saturated with advanced radar systems, this gives Israel's pilots not just invisibility, but information superiority. It's not just about hiding, it's about controlling what the enemy sees. Let's move to connectivity, the F-35I's role in Israel's networked warfare ecosystem. Israel didn't want the, the jet to operate as a lone wolf. They designed it to be the digital hub of the entire battlefield. Their engineers built secure data links that allow seamless communication between F-35I's older aircraft like the F-15I and F-16I drones and ground command centers. Every element in the Israeli Air Force is now part of one synchronized data web. The f 35 i sits at the heart of this network, collecting sensor information, analyzing it in real time, and distributing that data to every connected platform. That means a drone can detect a target, the f 35 i can confirm it, and a missile battery can engage it, all within seconds. This command and control software makes operations faster, smarter, and deadlier. Essentially, the F-35I isn't just flying a mission, it's orchestrating one. In modern air combat, data is power, 
And Israel has ensured that their jets not only survive, but dominate through superior connectivity. Weapons integration is where Israel truly shows its independence. Most F-35 users are restricted to US approved munitions, but Israel has reprogrammed the jet to use its own weapons. This includes advanced missiles and smart bombs built by domestic defense companies. By modifying the F-35I's internal software, Israeli engineers made it possible to load and deploy these weapons while preserving the aircraft's stealth profile. Every missile bomb and targeting system had to be digitally integrated, a complex task involving software calibration, trajectory algorithms, and fire control synchronization. The payoff is massive Israeli pilots can now carry weapons perfectly suited for their unique missions and regional threats. From precision strikes to dogfights, their arsenal is diverse and fully compatible. This flexibility turns the F-35I from an imported platform into a sovereign combat system, a fighter that speaks the Israeli Air Force's language, runs on their code, and fights with their tools. Next, let's look at endurance and range, crucial in a region as geographically tight, yet strategically complex as the Middle East. Israel's engineers developed specialized fuel solutions and aerodynamic upgrades to extend the F-35I's operational range. Through clever redesigns, including conformal fuel tanks and software-based flight optimization, they achieved greater mission flexibility. The software modifications are key. Flight computers were recalibrated to manage new weight distributions, fuel efficiency, and aerodynamic balances. The mission planning systems were also rewritten to handle longer sorties without compromising stealth. These changes give Israeli pilots the ability to strike targets far beyond their borders without relying on external refueling as often. It's the kind of subtle upgrade that doesn't make headlines but completely reshapes strategic options. Extended range means deeper reach, longer loiter time, and the ability to respond instantly to evolving threats across multiple fronts. A decisive edge in a region that never sleeps. Let's discuss maintenance and autonomy, two things most nations can't touch when it comes to the F-35. The aircraft standard version uses a global logistics network managed abroad. Israel, however, built its own localized system to manage everything from diagnostics to repairs. Their software tracks the aircraft's health, predicts failures, and allows engineers to make rapid updates without waiting for international clearance. This independence means that during wartime or political tension, Israel's fleet remains fully operational regardless of foreign support. It's a bold move that ensures self-sufficiency and resilience. Maintenance crews can apply patches, replace components, or even modify systems domestically. Over time, this creates an ecosystem where data from every flight refines the jet's performance further. The F-35I isn't just maintained, it evolves. In a sense, each aircraft learns from its missions, feeding new data into algorithms that make the next flight even smarter and safer. Now let's zoom out to the strategic impact. By customizing the F-35 software, Israel achieved something incredibly rare, technological sovereignty over an imported fifth generation fighter. Most nations rely entirely on the original manufacturer for updates and maintenance. Israel's model flips that script. They now possess the ability to modify, upgrade, and control their fleet independently. This autonomy strengthens their deterrence, ensures rapid adaptation to regional threats, and gives them strategic leverage. In a world where software defines the outcome of wars, owning your code is as vital as owning your weapons. Israel's F-350Y proves that software independence equals operational independence. It's a quiet revolution in military technology, showing that dominance isn't just built, it's programmed. Other nations are now studying this approach, realizing that the real battlefield of the future lies not only in the skies, but inside the code running those machines. Of course, such deep modifications come with challenges. 
Integrating national systems into a highly classified jet requires extreme care. Every software patch must be tested to avoid interference with the core flight systems. One bug could cause major malfunctions, so Israel built specialized testing environments to simulate full missions before updates go live. There's also the constant need for cybersecurity, defending these systems from hacking, espionage, and electronic sabotage. Maintaining interoperability with allied forces adds another layer of complexity. Too much modification could isolate the jet from coalition networks. Yet, Israel's engineers managed to walk this tightrope successfully. Their defense industry and air force work hand in hand, constantly refining the F-35I's performance without compromising reliability. It's a balance of risk and reward, but the results speak for themselves. Every exercise and mission has demonstrated how flexible and resilient this customized platform truly is. So what does all this mean for the future of air combat, Israel's F-35I marks the dawn of a new era, one where software defines air superiority more than aerodynamics. The lesson here is powerful. The next generation of warplanes will be judged not by how they look, but by how they think. The ability to rewrite, update, and innovate on your own schedule is the new high ground. For Israel, the F-35I isn't just a stealth fighter, it's a digital platform, constantly evolving to meet tomorrow's challenges. In many ways, it represents the future of global defense, agile, adaptive, and endlessly upgradable. Other nations will take note, but Israel set the benchmark. They turned the world's most advanced fighter into a living, learning system, an aircraft that grows smarter with every mission. And that's the real definition of a dear, mighty not just in power, but in intelligence. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more high tech military insights, and ring the bell so you never miss our next video. Drop a comment below. What country do you think will be next to customize its stealth fighters? Let's hear your thoughts.